This lesson is on the prefix pre. When prefix pre is added to a root word, it changes the whole meaning of the word. Now here we have the root words heat, view, wash, and school. And let's see what happens when we add the prefix pre to these words. If we put pre in front of heat, we get the word preheat. And if we preheat the oven, that means we're going to heat the oven before we cook something. So pre means before. If we put pre in front of view, we get preview. So you're going to view something before, like a movie preview. We could say pre-wash. That might mean to wash something a little bit more before you put it in the regular wash. And if we put pre in front of school, we get the word preschool, which means school before regular school. So the prefix pre means before. So anytime we add that prefix to a root word, it's going to mean before. So let's look at the words in the word bank. They all have pre in them. We have preheat, prehistoric, prepay, and pre-shrunk. And see if we can find which word would make sense in the sentence. Number one says the t-shirt was pre-blank. Well, pre-shrunk would make sense here. And that means that the shirt was shrunk before they sold it. Can you blank the oven? We could say, can you preheat the oven? Can you heat it up before it's ready to cook something? So we used pre-shrunk and we used preheat. Dinosaurs lived in blank times. That would be prehistoric, which means before written down history. Squeeze that in here. And he will blank for his phone minutes. He will prepay. So he's going to pay for the minutes that he uses on his phone before he actually makes his phone calls. So we have preschool, pre wash, prepay, and preview. So remember, pre means before. So preschool would be before elementary school. Pre-wash would mean to wash before. Pre-pay would mean to pay before. And preview would mean to view before. So that ends our lesson today on the prefix pre.